Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, going to be having an open discussion about the things currently going on in our country. Uh, the tragic death of George Floyd. Um, there's a lot of noise going on in our country, um, and I wanted to start this video off by doing a 15 second seconds of silence. Uh, TJ hates silence like completely. Uh, by the way, this is my friend TJ. Um, you know what? You know what? Just uh, um, I do apologize for my head. <laughs> hairline, it's a mess. My barber won't open until the government says so for New Jersey. So that's just doing a mess like that. Um, was there anything else I was going to say? Oh, my voice is a little bit raspy because I went to a protest last night and I, uh, didn't, I didn't use all of it, but it's almost, it's almost <laughs> over. I'm still going to use every last bit of it for uh, future protests, though. <laughs> so yeah, we wanted. I wanted to do a 15 second of silence just because I feel like everything's just too crazy right now, and people I feel like are losing the the respect for for what happened. Um, so 15 seconds, okay. I think, I think you can manage that. Uh, yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Alright. Rest in peace, George Floyd. Honestly, everyone is, um is hurt by this everyone knows it's a tragedy everyone knows this is just a terrible thing that happens I think we can all agree mm -hmm. on that um, I wanted to do this video because I wanted to get two different perspectives two different sides on um, the movement that's going on right now in the country um, a lot of people are completely for it a lot of people turned it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. into violence mm -hmm. and a lot of people are against it and are are really angry because they're just seeing the violence and they're not seeing the good things that are coming from it um so the goal of this is just to have a conversation yes. and find some like the some goal. common ground um but tj i wanted to hear a little bit tell tell them about yourself uh so yeah um start off i knew micah since for almost a year yeah it'll be coming up almost a year uh night last june uh, I'm Timothy Coger, uh, raised in Willingboro, New Jersey, uh, predominantly, predominantly um, black town. Currently, live in, le currently live in Delray, New Jersey. Uh, basically, all white except a few spots. I'm a black man in America, as well as half Jamaican, so I am full, full, full throttle supporting Black Lives Matter. I guess later on we'll get in discussion about All Lives Matter. I understand that, but it's all about Black Lives Matter right now because it's not all lives being scared to walk out of their own house or <laughs> with some cases they can't even do that they getting shot up in a <laughs> peaceful sleep but honestly my point is is that i'm here to start a peaceful conversation i want peace in this world i don't want violence but if it comes to that it comes to that so yeah. all right i mean a little bit about myself um in case you guys are new here this is not what i what i typically do um and normally i just do like kind of reaction videos and just fun content i never take anything really too seriously mm -hmm. Um, so I, I would imagine there's just going to be a completely new audience watching this. Uh, my name is Micah. I am originally from Mount Holly, New Jersey. At least I was I was born and raised there. It was a mixed town. Um, you know, black friends, white friends. Growing up, my dad is black. I'm half black, or close to it at least. <laughs> um, so yeah, that gives me a couple different perspectives on the Black Lives Matter movement and other types of movements. Um, and that's, I figured we could get a good discussion out of this just because we have two different perspectives on things. Mm -hmm. um, so, the start, actually, you know what, just because you said that, and I've been wanting to bring this up for a while, even before you brought up the video. So your dad is black, or what is he? Yeah, my, da my dad's black, bro. He's fully black. Fully black. He, okay, he has some, like, Native American. Okay, I'm... Oh, well, some, okay. like, not His primary much. is black. Yes. Okay. All right, okay. And then your mom is Hispanic? Yeah, she's Puerto Rican and white. Okay. Yeah, but if you look at me, I don't look like a black dude. Like, 100%. I look like a like a white kid, uh, honestly. 100%. Uh, <laughs> that's why I was confused. Anytime you guys brought him up, I did not know you actually had... So, I guess that's roughly... You So, you're saying... It's, it's close to 50... Like, I'm almost half black. Okay, all right, okay. Um, I think it just shocked me because of the discuss oh, wow, discussions we had in the past with you and Nathan. Yeah. Vera a little bit, but not as much. Um, 
Okay, I just had to, I just had to kind of get that. No, yeah, no. Pe- people normally really like if you look at me, you you mm. never know. And you I think, know I'm light skinned, but mm, you yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I look white. I look, I guess, a little bit Hispanic, um, but I mostly look white. Um, and this video is not going to be structured at all. Like I said, if if you guys um, just don't want to be pissed off, I would suggest you click off on the video because. Or, or you watch the whole thing. What I don't want to happen is for people to hear one thing and then just comment hate comments without hearing the full conversation and all the context um, that we're, that we're going to get into. So if you're not going to do that, I suggest you just click off the video, honestly. Um, and yeah, if you, if you just have like a, a weak spine, just click off, please. Um, so I don't know how to really start and get into this. I know you went to the protests. <laughs> yeah, with a couple of butts. You know, I started with this. What are your thoughts on what happened to George Floyd? Like I said, um, so, the George Floyd incident, um, the cop, I don't even know his name. I don't care to even say his name. Mm-hmm. But, um, he was completely out of line. This is just a fact. He, mm-hmm. he was not acting in protocol um, he acted violently mm-hmm. and basically killed the guy. Um, well, not basically, but he <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, killed the guy. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just tragic. People were telling him to stop. I didn't watch the video because I couldn't watch it. it, it I heard. I, thought, it, I can only watch it once. But yeah, after that, I definitely. I, I heard about it and I heard all the comments that mm-hmm. people were saying about it, and I just chose not to watch it because I'm not good at watching that type of stuff. Um, so I, it's just a, a, a tragedy, and it and to me, it's just a shame that I feel like people are forgetting about <clears throat> his name, mm. and people are literally, not everywhere, New Jersey mm. is doing really good with peaceful protests. And I definitely agree with that, yes. Like, I feel like I haven't heard anything of, like, violent riots going not on as much, in New not Jersey. Not as much, has been just a little bit, but not, it's not, not, not as much, honestly. Like, that's the thing. People are literally looting killing people there was a cop a there's been a couple cops who died a couple Mm -hmm. a bunch of people Mm -hmm. and i'm pretty sure a few were black yes there was a black cop uh what was his name there was a black cop Mm -hmm. who just who literally was he was protecting his friend's shop in front Uh, and they shot him to steal a tv uh, and just left him for dead no i actually don't know his name and it's like Respectable. You're doing that, and you're saying it's in the name of George Floyd and all the other black people who died, and you're saying Black Lives Matter, and then you go and kill a black guy to steal a TV. Like, what are you doing? Well, we have to make it. We have to make sure. We yes, draw we a line. do need to draw a line. So for sure, not every person that's doing stupid stuff like that. Yeah, is part of the cause. That's right. I understand. That I'm not saying every single black person out there is all about the cause because I've witnessed <laughs> some people not even care. I'm like, okay. Um, not everyone looting and stealing is also part of that. That's that right. section taking advantage. Yeah. They are. They are, and that's really upsetting to me. I don't like that. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I'm not for the looting and stealing. I'm not at all. <laughs> but I understand it. I understand the frustration and anger that's coming out of them. I, I want to understand. So, from your perspective, uh, what does the looting and stealing mean? Like, why are they doing that? If they could hurt us, we could hurt them. And make the best way to hurt somebody is financially. And even though the big corporations, they would be fine. They have insurance. It's not that big a deal. The smaller ones, I'm, I'm a little bit more upset about, especially the ones that's actually black-owned. That shouldn't be happening, too. Um, definitely got to take but notice of that. I, I want to just, like, interrupt you there no, because no. I think there's a really big misconception with, like, big businesses. Okay. Like, on Twitter, people are literally saying, oh, don't don't rob the, the local businesses. Just rob the big corporations. In my mind, and I don't think anybody should be getting robbed. I think we should still just keep a peaceful ra- route. But yes, but, but what I, wanted, I understand the bigger corporations—they still have that money. They what, have the insurance. But what I wanted to say mm-hmm. is that when you have a big corporation, mm-hmm. they don't share funds like that. Mm-hmm. So this Target mm-hmm. in Burlington okay. isn't giving money to a Target in Minnesota. That target is making money for that target. Oh, yeah. They each, yes, I understand. They each have their own different so, yes. so what I'm saying is 
if you're going, it's acting like just, it's a part of a big corporation, mm. but in a way it still acts as a local business because it's not well, receiving all these funds from all different I targets. I can see that. Okay. I can definitely see that. So that's the thing that people don't get. They're like, it's just insurance. No, and you're right. And I, like, definitely, I definitely see your point in that. Because um, I, I do, I have witnessed some people say, hey, this is a black owned Target or the owner or manager of the store is black or they support of the, um, the cause so please don't hit a store and all this stuff so they're not all connected you're right you're right i think yeah. i think i just got connected with the name and said all right yeah all it's, have to it's be that's the thing that. it's so easy to do that mm. um but now what what do we even talk about next because i think we do agree that the rioting and the looting yes I, well should, i was trying to say even out. though i i would not do it i don't want it to be that way May, honestly, I feel like it has to be this way because they don't listen when it's peaceful. So what's next? And even violent, they still not, they're, it's still taking them to an extent to finally listen. They only get mad because their pockets are getting hit. So there are signs of uh, like all the protests and everything mm -hmm. that say no justice, no peace. Mm-hmm. So, with specifically George Floyd, okay. I don't want to talk about other cases because, one, I feel like none of, we're probably not the most informed on other cases. You probably have more information on them yes. than me because I'm, I sort of don't pay attention that much. But, I want to say this before you get started. It's not like the whole country, world, anybody just said, okay, because it's happened to George Floyd. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. I get it. I get okay. it. It's it's like a, a buildup yes. from, from things. Yes. Yeah, no, I totally understand. Yep. But a lot of it is like they're saying justice for, for George Floyd or mm -hmm. no peace. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think we live in an age, well, not. I don't think we, I know we live in an age where we want things to just happen instantly. We have social media. Mm -hmm. We can get in immediate contact with people yes so when things like this happen when you see a murder and then a person isn't just arrested right then and there mm -hmm. or a person isn't um charged with anything just like that mm -hmm. everyone freaks out because we're used to everything being so instant but mm -hmm. if you like talk and like do research on any like any people who are around all these cases mm -hmm. This happens really quick. Like so, that's true. Um, and he he was originally charged with uh, with third degree manslaughter, uh, but it was recently just no. It was third, was it third degree manslaughter and third degree murder, or just third degree? I think it was third, third degree, degree manslaughter, but just I think today or last night. He also had third degree murder, so made that too. And I think they just recently made it to second degree murder. They just they just uh, changed it to second degree. Okay. Yeah, uh, which makes a lot of sense because. Um, if you actually like look at the definition of second degree, I can't just say it off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. um, like third degree is you didn't mean to kill the guy, <laughs> but like you accidentally killed him. Yeah. He didn't. That was an accident. He had, there was malicious intent in mm -hmm. there. I don't think he was literally like going and just like being like, I'm going to kill this guy. But I do think he wanted to just hurt him really bad, honestly. Mm -hmm. Um and ended up killing him. I think the second degree. You can't say it's first degree because it he it wasn't like a premeditated thing. Um, I well, think it would I mean, be unfair to say I that. I can't say that's a completely true because the reports that he actually knew him beforehand. Are there? Yes. I don't know all the details on that. Um, I can't remember if it was the cat, not academy. It was some organization they were both into. They were both in, and there has been reports of him not get along with him as well as uh, that cop having the reports with other black officers um mm -hmm. not officers um uh, wow detainees um and then having issues with that and i'm like okay something's not right here if it's, if there's a history of mostly black people he's uh arresting or having uh, issues with and hurting them physically something's not right mm -hmm. and obviously that says a lot right there that he mainly goes or does m more to black people yeah i don't know all the details so i can't okay. like speak on it okay um recently like uh two days ago I, I posted something on twitter because like i said there's there's two different arguments to to this mm -hmm. everyone right now is just seeing the the uh, liberal side okay um 
which you know everyone knows what that is and then few people are seeing the right the republican side of things quote unquote um so i put on out a tweet um basically showing numbers of cop shootings okay. cop killings um since like 2015 mm -hmm. um and it showed all different races like white black hispanic asian mm -hmm. um other um and my my point was i wasn't even really trying to start uh, stir an, stir up an argument or stir up a debate. I, didn't see this I just wanted to say, hey, cops are doing like cops have been doing police brutality for years. It's like everyone has seen the videos mm -hmm. and it's disgusting. And I don't know. And from what I have seen, I don't think that there is enough um, repercussions for that. I don't think people are being penalized. Mm -hmm. For doing that stuff, very whether very you're true. white, black, Asian, it doesn't matter. Very if very a cop true. is taking advantage of his power, that's what I was going to get into. Actually, wait, real quick, uh, beforehand, that's what I was trying to say. That if this was a black man, it would have never been no if ands or buts. He would have already been arrested or sent to prison in that same day. You think so? I know so. There, there was another a, a there, black cop though. Yes, if it was white, a white person on that ground and a black cop that had his knee on his neck. I think that's. But, like, I think that's an unfair thing to say. Because... Okay, go, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go the on. reason it's unfair is because it, it didn't happen that way. You get what I'm saying? There was... Like, mm. it's... I feel like it's so easy to do that. Mm. But that's not based out on anything, really. Mm. I definitely can I agree with that. Um, but, like, Why? There was one case where a black cop accidentally shot a white teenager, or I can't say preteen, or not preteen, um, young adult. Because he accidentally did that, they took him to court. But what, how long did it take for them to take him to court? That I'm actually not sure. That's what I'm saying is like these things take time. Like when, especially if it's like a police officer, because they have to like file like these reports. They have, they do an investigation. Mm -hmm. Um, that's that's actually one thing I wanted to talk about too. Okay. Is um. But but actually, before you say that, it took time, but it took time without us having to write it for something to finally happen. Yeah, but do you think that it would have happened without it, without the protests? Do you think they, they wait? Talking about the black cop or the white cop? The white cop. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't have. No, it would never have had it. If if it wasn't recorded, that cop would be sitting pretty, um, in his house right now. But that's the thing. Go, is go. that you? Is that? people don't actually know mm. you know what i'm saying uh like mm. like you can believe it in your heart okay but it the fact of the matter is it didn't happen that way so how can anyone know Be that's just saying because so uh i mean i think this is a point where we can like agree to disagree okay because yeah. like i said like you can believe it i could believe it mm-hmm but without like the the actual evidence without that actually happening we'll never know so okay. like it's just a it's just a point where you just got to be like whatever we could think what we want it doesn't really like it matters mm. but if we don't have concrete proof of it i'm just thinking of scenarios can't. in my head a reason why i have this justification in my mind but i will come back to that later that's okay yeah um so trump after this whole incident incident <laughs> yes, um yeah, yeah. Honestly, he he came out and people forget what he said. He mm -hmm. says George Floyd, what happened to George Floyd was really tragic mm -hmm. and he hated it. He literally said it was like disgusting. Okay. And he said, "We are going to to find him justice." Yeah, I remember I remember when he said that. Mm -hmm. And people literally forgot about that. Um and I think that's a good thing if and I, I just don't get it. And then people only remember him threatening the uh, the rioters that he m could possibly um, start martial law to get things in control. And from my viewpoint, mm -hmm. you have angry people. Not like I said. I think most it's mostly peaceful. Mm -hmm. um, but you can't. No one can deny the fact that it's all peaceful and that. 
people aren't burning down things, people aren't looting. Everyone knows like these things are happening. But the thing is, it wasn't that wasn't the case until nothing happened. Like it wasn't always. It didn't always come it to happened rioting. A, it happened the night after. Like I said, well, listen, the night the night listen, that listen, he died, they started listen, rioting. Even with Ahmad Abari, if I'm probably saying his right, name right, I don't want to disrespect his name. Um, that we didn't find out about that. Like that's what, that's a perfect example, actually. That recording. Perfect example. Thank you. I'm glad. So it's a connection with um, um, if it was a black guy, I'm sorry. If that rec- it was if it wasn't recorded in the first place, it would have never happened. With the mod, that recording didn't come out till two months later, and then that's when justice got served. They were still sitting pretty in their homes before something happened to them. I don't want to go into the like, I I, I like hearing it, mm. but I don't want to like give my two cents on something that I'd have no idea about. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's, it, it is common knowledge that it did come out two months after and they were still nothing. Yeah. They were charged with nothing. The only, the only thing I could say is a lot of things are not released to the public right away. And that's like just a fact. Okay. Like, I, I, you know how like things... No, I'm talking, no, no, the recording. No, that wasn't... That, I'm talking about the recording. Okay, wait, maybe make sure we're on the same page. What do you mean a lot of things aren't released to the public? So, let's say there's there's evidence to an investigation, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. You ever hear of people, like, in court or whatever, mm-hmm. they they haven't released evidence to the public because they can't because the jury, you need to have a neutral jury. Yes. So then when they show the footage in court, mm-hmm. that they aren't influenced by outside um, perspectives. So, like... They, no, they didn't get a jury or any of that. That's what I'm trying to say. They were in their rooms when all this, they found, they, when, because the person that recorded it, he was alone with that, that tag team with the father and son. Then his lawyer Mm -hmm. realized that this was wrong and sent it out. It wasn't that person that felt guilty. It was his lawyer that felt guilty. All right. So I'm trying to say, because if that wasn't for that recording, justice would never be served. He, Ahmad would, we would never even know about Ahmad. And it's, I'm sure there's plenty of other stories like that, too. And God rest their souls. Because this is... I'm actually... I, I think I'm a little confused why you're trying to defend that. Um, I'm trying to defend it in, in just, like... Like I said, is evidence isn't always released right away. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I agree with that. And I think things did change because of social media and everyone having access to things. Okay. So I think as a society, we kind of expect to see things right away. And in my dad's time, they didn't. Mm-hmm. Um, I did want to say a quick... Oh, also, I wanted to go into the, the Trump thing about martial law. Um, yeah, go ahead. There's a lot of people on the left who's, who are very angry about him threatening martial law. And on my end, I'm not... Um, I would consider myself a libertarian. Okay. Uh, I think people should be able to do whatever the heck they want as long as they're not harming other people. Okay. So, obviously, if you're rioting and you're stealing people's stuff, you're affecting other people. So, obviously, I'm against that. But anyway, so, um, yeah, with him threatening martial law, he, he didn't enact it. He said, if local authorities can't get this under control, if they can't control these rioters, mm-hmm. killing people, mm-hmm. damaging property, mm-hmm. stealing people's stuff, mm-hmm. the the guy who opened up... Uh, a barber shop down the street ten years ago, or this past year, mm-hmm. put his life savings into it to start his own business, and then they destroy his store. That is not okay. And if local authorities don't stop it, that's gonna keep going. And he's saying, "I don't want mm-hmm. the American people." Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. He's saying, "I don't want the American people." To, to be losing all that stuff, to be, to be scared for their lives, to not be able to leave their home because they could get killed in a riot. So I, from his so the same from way that you just perspective, said that. same way you just said that, to not be able to leave their homes because they can be scared of being killed or hurt because of a riot. That's exactly how it feels to be a black person. But now here's my question though. But okay, wait before we get to that. So what do you think 
about that whole thing because everyone's outraged. They're like, "Oh my gosh, he shouldn't be. He's declaring so war on his he, citizens." Uh, so I did see. I remember his tweet where he said it was tragic, and he wanted justice. No, 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 not just a tweet. Like um, he he said it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. The speech. Um, yes. Um, if he is. Sorry, you got to put that John on silent right now, bro. <laughs> if he is seriously about the peace and the justice, why isn't he already on our side? Why is he hurting the ones that are just protesting for justice? No, no, no that's what I'm saying. What? Is he's for the if you're peacefully protesting? Mm-hmm. I'm for that. He's for that. Mm-hmm. He's talking about the rioters. Okay, well, I will say this. I'm be honest. That's a lot of pent up aggression from over the many, 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 many decades of stuff happening to black people and no justice was served. That, and I'll be honest, George Floyd was probably the last straw that this was going to happen to. So, even though I won't do it myself, I'd rather us not do that route either. Um, but, I ain't mad at them. I definitely ain't mad at them. Uh, they, if, we still have not received our <laughs> reparations, so they can go get the 40 acres, do an Xbox, PlayStation, clothing from H&M, H&M. Um, Nike and Jordan shoes. Like, I, honestly, I'm not mad at it, but I, cause I just, I hate to see them angry like this, cause I don't want my people to be like this. But I'm also not gonna be like, okay, I'm not gonna stop them though. I'm not gonna be there physically stopping them. I'm not gonna do that. What if they're about to shoot a cop? I will try. I will try. <laughs> my, I, my goal is to keep the peace. Keep the peace, like without no violence. But, but if if so, these same rioters who mm-hmm. are who are looting things, mm-hmm. they killed a black cop. To steal a TV. Not all the rioters. No, not Don't I'm not saying I'm not okay. saying all the okay. rioters, right. but like you get what I'm saying. That, like yes, these that people is definitely who are wrong. And I, I, I rioting that. like that, that is... and destroying property, they're the same people who the ones, could possibly kill. Someone. The ones who are not doing it for a cause is the ones that I'm saying this is wrong for. I don't like that because the ones that actually are hurt, you see the anger of them, and the only way they can express it is through this. And I'm like, okay, I can't really get mad because I understand I'm angry too. Trust me, I just I'm taking a different route as best I can. But I, I really can't explain more on that topic for some reason. It's just I understand the anger. I'm yeah. not, not going to sit there and stop. No, though. I. So, yeah, I I think um, the anger from um, a black man's perspective, or just a or a black person, or even just a white person who no who and that's what is I'm all saying. for I, it. I love I love it. I love it when other races come together yeah. and support this cause. And. And I, I gotta say, I love it even more when it's white people. It's like, okay, why can't you tell your brothers and sisters this? Like, oh, I'm sorry. Why can't your brothers and sisters listen to this? Because I don't understand why they're being so lost and dumb about this. It's just crazy. So I will ask, what do you consider yourself as? What do you mean? Black or white? I, I consider myself black. I'm mostly black. Okay. Uh, okay. Agree with that, but that's you. No, 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 no. no. So that's the thing. That's the thing. Is like a, a lot of like the black community won't consider me black, and well, I know that. And it's not that. And it's nothing wrong with your if you're mixed either. I'm just saying for your personality. When I know you, no. like I'm like uh, I don't think I agree with that. That's what I was saying. <laughs> but no, I guess I. That's the thing too. Is that's one thing. This is just a pet peeve of mine. This is completely off topic. Mm. I hate when people are like, "You don't act black," what? I or you don't act white. Well, I will say this. Well, like, no, what I'm, is no, no, acting I'm, 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 black? No, I mean, like, you do act white is what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> no, I don't think you act I'm... black. That's what... White, I think, full throttle, you act like that all the time. <laughs> um, but what is acting white and what is acting black? You know what I'm saying? I feel like that inherently is racist. I, like, you get what I'm saying? I think something about it, the, like, if... I guess that is a hard topic to say, but it's, it's not only just skin color, too, because that does... That shows the outside, but the inside, I guess, is something about that pride of being black. I feel like I don't get that from you sometimes, all the time. Like, like I, when you first told me you had black in, blackness in you, I'm like, okay, what half percent do you guys have in y'all? <laughs> like, this little bit, you know, I really try to represent that. I'm like, I mm. think it, it just depends how you grow up. Like, yeah, okay, and I, I can see it that. It all depends on your parents, your environment. That's all it depends on. I, I can definitely see that. Like, I've met... There are some bougie uh, black people out there, too, but you see more... You see more in them, though. But, it's no, but you know, even with some of them, they'd be lost or whitewashed. And it's like, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it just depends how you grow up. Like, honestly, like, I don't know. Like, I'm a big believer in just, like, it's so corny. But, like, there's only one race, the human race type thing. Like There is. That's, yeah, exactly. No, there, there is. Like, I think that, like, that's But there's no fact. point. There's no point of... Negating the fact that we do have different skin No, colors. yeah, yeah, okay. exactly, we, yeah. We do have different personalities, stuff like that. Yeah. So, 
But I don't I, like that's that's my thing. It's like everyone is different. But just like, so what do you put on applications? Black. Mm. I, well, I put. Mm. I don't know. I put like everything. I try to put everything. You really for real? Like everything that I am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But your primary is black. That's what you believe. Okay, so yeah. I only give you one after you give. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if that's what I mostly am, like I'm gonna put that. Okay. Okay. So why don't you go to pro- protest? Um. So, this is, um, sort of like, the two sides of it. Mm. Is so so from my perspective. Uh, I'll try to run through this like real quick. I don't know how how long I'll take. It's already freaking thirty minutes. I, I don't care how You're long right. it goes. Is though. It really? Yeah, Damn. I don't care how long it goes on for. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, I I'm libertarian, but uh, I'm more right leaning than than on the left. Mm-hmm. Um, and from from how I've grown up, mm-hmm. what are you shaking your head? Uh, I just said I'm not. But oh, okay, I'm not. okay. Um, Democrat. By like way. like so. Um, I'll give a quick story. I'll give two quick stories. Mm -hmm. Um, One from my childhood and then one from my dad's childhood. Okay. So, my childhood, um, Brainerd School, Brainerd Elementary School, um, I was best friends, or really, really good friends with this this kid named Quano, a black kid. Mm -hmm. Um, We would team up on, like, everything. We'd sat together in every class. Um, We ran, like... um, not the mile, because I don't think you run the mile when you're that young. But ran, um, or... ran ran around like a baseball field. Like I forget how long the distance was. Okay. Um, but we wanted to stick together. We wanted to win together. Okay. You know. Um, so I really like this guy was my like a good friend of mine. Um, and I think he had bad parenting at home, so he would act up in school all the time, and he'd be getting in trouble. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like a good kid. I never got in trouble or anything. Okay. And he was a little black kid. I'm a white kid. Or I, I looked, I, when I was little, I looked, I was way lighter than I am now. Mm. Like, I mean. <laughs> so I, I looked white. Um, so he would get in trouble and I wouldn't, even though he was my friend, I would hang out with him, but I wouldn't do anything bad, but he would. Then one day, mm. um, you know, I was just like thinking to myself, I'm like, Yo, this I like Quanell. He's so cool, man. Like mm-hmm. this guy, he's so cool. Um, I want to sort of act like him. Okay. So one day I went into school, and I just started acting like a fool. Like I started just like just being an idiot, and I literally got in trouble like that instant. Um, and that's just so that's one one story. Um, mm-hmm. okay. my from my dad's childhood. Now my dad is black. Like he's black. Um, he grew up in Plainfield, New Jersey. I don't know how it is now, mm. but at the time, it definitely wasn't the best place to be growing up. Okay. Um, there was a lot of crime there and stuff. He had a group of good friends and then a group of bad friends. Okay. Um, him and like the good friends never got in trouble. Okay. Ever. Despite their skin color or anything, they, he never had, not just... The good, friends, trouble. the good friends they have black and white or no just black just black okay so he um not even just like getting in trouble mm-hmm. he never had anything with the cops no problems literally nothing but his black his bad friends um were just constantly getting in trouble with the cops mm-hmm. constantly getting in trouble and um so my dad now he's like yeah i mean i think it's like in, instead of blaming other people you got to like sometimes take the blame for yourself like you can't for, okay so if he was doing something stupid yes that's understandable no but like so so even like these people mm-hmm. like some people are getting shot for no reason but mm-hmm. that's the A thing is people. the thing is mm-hmm. i think it is broadcasted more like if a black curse if a black person is treated unfairly mm-hmm. I think it gets broadcasted more than a white person, and th- this is this is my theory. Because it doesn't happen as often for a white person. I think it happens more often, because Go but ahead. anyway, mm-hmm. that's that's another point. Mm-hmm. Um, so in the same way that that's broadcasted more, like mm-hmm. all these cases, anytime you see a black person who seems to be 
mistreated fairly, which all not all the time they are mistreated fairly, um, but a lot of time they are. Um, it's like really big news you're seeing it everywhere. I think mm-hmm. it's similar mm-hmm. to uh, to guns and school shootings versus shootings in inner cities. School shootings, you only see them little white boys <laughs> acting all crazy, I'm not, and then they see it as a <laughs> mental illness. I'm just saying that you, if it was a black person, they would have said, "Oh, the whole race acts stupid." I don't. See, uh, like that's another thing. Well, that's the thing. Maybe, maybe it's because the way how you're raised, you can't see it from that perspective. I think that's the only reason why. What? So I wait, can as, I finish though? Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Um, so when a school shooting happens, mm-hmm. it's broadcasted everywhere. Everyone, it's the biggest news, like for for weeks. Mm-hmm. It's literally the biggest news, mm-hmm. and everyone's like, "We need gun control. We need to ban guns." Mm-hmm. Even though mass shootings, school shootings account for such a small percentage of the actual deaths by gun violence because all the deaths by gun violence are happening in inner cities and it's just one person dead, one person dead, one person dead every single night. Well, I will say this, I was before, beforehand, I was always against guns, but now I'm like, you know, maybe I do need to protect myself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see it as me going outside to make sure I just to, yeah. like, sit there for no reason or start shooting people for no reason. But just to have a gun on my possession, not, not I wouldn't say, just at least in the house. Yeah. When I have my license and everything, I don't see a problem with that. Yeah. So, but like I said, so you're seeing two different sides. So now, our generation, mm-hmm. the younger generation, mm-hmm. with social media and everything, ev- people are so dumb on social media because they're all, no one has experience. I don't have experience. Technically, of what? Like, just life experience. Like, I don't have much life experience. And all these people have no life experience. Well, and I, I don't know. If, no, no. Do but, you mean length or do you mean, okay, do you like, mean like I'm number saying, wise? I'm saying the, the majority. As you get older, mm-hmm. you do become more wiser because you, you've seen more. And yes, but some people have to become wiser and grow up and mature very no, fast. Yes, no, yes, no. I'm okay. not talking about like the, um, the, out, the outliers. I'm just talking about the majority of people. Okay. Um, yeah, most people are just young and dumb on mm-hmm. Twitter and everything. But so when they see these 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 shootings and everything, mm-hmm. instead of looking at all the numbers and like being like, "Oh wow, actually, uh, the mass shootings don't account for that many of the deaths compared to just like uh, gang violence and everything like that." Well, so yeah, I'm not really worried about the topic guns right now. No, uh, no, no. What I'm saying is, mm-hmm. I'm trying to trying to link it back. Okay. Um, since that's all they see. Mm-hmm. They're like, let's ban guns because guns just, they kill mass amounts of people all the time. Mm-hmm. And I think it's similar to um, to black deaths or un- unfair deaths in the black community. I feel like when, uh, when a black person dies, mm-hmm. it is such big news. Like, such big news, but compared to like if a white person dies to a white cop you're not seeing that anywhere anywhere yeah cause the, if you st- it becomes big news when it starts adding on on and on on especially when they, the death or how that person passed away is ex- is used with excessive force there there was a a guy who mm-hmm. died ju- um black guy white guy ju- white guy okay died not just like George Floyd mm-hmm. but in a similar manner from a white guy or from a dad from white guy. from white guys okay, he well was that, okay. he, so that is like I said I, I, he, I'm no but what I so want to say that happened to him and I wish him I wish his soul rest in peace and everything and his family he, you know can heal as well he mm-hmm. I think it was 2015 or 2016 mm-hmm. cops um, were restraining him mm-hmm. he was like freaking out he was like saying they're gonna kill me they're gonna kill me they were restraining him they shot him with a sedative. Hmm. He ended up dying. No one heard about it. Well, no one. I, I yes. I, but I think if, that's, I think that's that the thing. Is upsetting. So mm-hmm. what I'm saying is, if that guy was black, mm-hmm. don't you think there would have been a crazy uprising? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do think that. Um, that's what. So that's my point. But I think the reason why is because it's happening so much to black people than white people. So when it happens to white people, not everybody knows about it. So of course that is upsetting. So st- statistically, okay, who is it happening more to? Black people. Okay, so where where are your sources, your new charts? Where are you getting all this from? So, I will go 
from 2015 on to, uh, or whichever year I had. Mm-hmm. Um, now, uh, this isn't, there. the The main thing people are going to say in the comments okay. is there's more white people than black people okay. in the country, which which is a fact. When you look at the numbers, it's mm-hmm. not proportional. Mm-hmm. Black people are killed a lot more than white people in proportion. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's not taking into account a lot of factors when you look at it that way. Um, and that's the problem that I feel like people are in. So, number of people shot to death by the police in the United States from 2017 to 2020. 2017, 457 white people were killed by the police, 223 black people. 2018, 399, 209 black people. 2019, 370 black people, 235. You're not hearing about all these. No. Ever. But I, think like, I do have to go back to, yes, there's more white people in America yeah. than black. But I also see there's a decrease in white people, but then it's a flux. It fluctuate, fluctuates in um, black people, as well as other races, too. But Yeah, but this is also a three-year sample. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> like it's, a, means... it's such a small sample size. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's... It was worse early on in the years, though, especially in the nineties and yeah, nineties and eighties. I mean, and early. I I don't want to talk about it because I'm not super informed. Okay. Um, I just want to talk about in our lifetime because, obviously, in mm-hmm. the past, <laughs> we were we were mad mischief. <coughs> yes. We were freaking slaves. Yes. That's so also a problem right there. So yes, it's it's a problem, but yeah. so what I want to say, this is like. My, my, just like the biggest thing I could say, Mm. um, and it's going to be two points Mm. going into each other. So, um, Asian people, Asian Americans Mm -hmm. were more recently enslaved than us. You talking about because of the coronavirus? No, I'm talking about, um, they they were put, they were put in internment camps since for what? I don't know what year, but it was more recently than, way more recently than, uh, than we have been, than we were enslaved. All right. Well, I will say this. It's not, so I think, okay, I think we're, I'm not trying to say it's a battle between all races. I'm saying any race is treated unfairly is messed up. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. That, okay. So, so, okay. so here's my point is like, so these Asian American people mm-hmm. were technically enslaved, sort of enslaved. Okay. Yet. They are the top class in the nation. White people don't even compare mm. to Asian Americans. And why is that? Uh, I, I really don't know. When I say the answer, you'll know. It'll make sense. Okay, so the study that you said they were enslaved recently, I'm guessing a short, short, a short amount of people was a lot, right? So what are you trying to say? Uh, I'm not, so... You met, you know, Asian people. Yeah. Their parents are rich. <laughs> yeah, but why are so? Their parents are crazy. They're it, embedded in their culture. Mm. Is if you don't get a perfect score on the SATs, mm. we disown you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> when are you becoming a doctor yet? Yeah, that's I have seen a lot of uh, situations. Like I, that. I don't think I've met a single Asian person who hasn't had those types of parents. Like, um, I met a couple, but they yes, there has yeah for for the most part like that's that's generally how it is in the in the Asian in the Asian. Wait, so I'm trying community. to see the point. So, so usually most a lot of not all of them, of course, but majority of them are very very wealthy. Um, yeah, and they're very very strict. Yes. So the reason why they have more sta- more of a status above white people than I don't know. I really don't know. No, I'm just saying like they were re- more recently enslaved than us. But they're the uh, top. They're the top I can't class. Agree with because I haven't seen none of that. So I. I it's it. It wasn't slavery like. No, I know like but, that. But the, they were put in internment camps I and stuff. I still can't. If it's not, I remember there was cases of that because of coronavirus. Were you saying not because of coronavirus? No, no, no. I'm not saying recently like that. Then that's what I'm saying. I don't know what you're talking about then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, basically, mm-hmm. yeah. They they were put in internment camps, but they're they're still the highest class somehow. Okay. Um, and I think it's just because it's embedded in in the culture. When mm-hmm. I so growing up in school, like I said, I'm around everyone: mm-hmm. black people, white people, 
Um, and what I tend, not with me because of my parents, like my parents are great parents mm -hmm. and I'm sure with you too. Cause look where you are. Mm -hmm. Like you were raised really, really well. Mm -hmm. Um, and same thing with me. Um, now for me, I never really cared for school that much, but okay. my parents always just taught me like personal responsibility and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, but people I grew up with, I feel like a lot of them had trouble at home and that's, and then they acted up in school. They had trouble yeah. at home, didn't have good parents. That's, yeah. And I think, uh, the problem, a, a really big problem is that families are, are broken in the black community. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a hundred percent true. And like, it's horrible. It's so terrible, mm -hmm. but I just don't get why aren't we addressing that? Oh no, we're trying to, but it's getting overshadowed with, um, you know, all the deaths that happen unfairly and actually it shouldn't happen at all, but, um, all the injustice basically. All right. So that, that's still a topic. It goes that if you get deeper and deeper, and deeper, it comes down to that, but it's just not the primary talk right now. Hmm. Yeah. There's there's a lot there's a lot that goes into it with mm. like history mm -hmm. and like the Democratic Party, mm -hmm. which I don't know all the history, mm. but I feel like we should actually do that together. Learn the history is learn the history of the Democratic Party because I know some. It's some Democrat, but yeah, it's pretty wild. Mm -hmm. um, and oh, just a side note, you know what pissed me off? What? Uh, when Joe Biden, did you see that clip? Are you talking about what he said? Uh, he said, if you have to think about who you need to vote for, you ain't black. Oh, okay. So, to address that, <laughs> him as a white man saying that, <laughs> I completely disagree. He what? got He got way too comfortable. I, that should have never come out of his mouth. Never, now. ever. Never. But just another side note, that does not mean what he said was <laughs> false. I, I can't say what he said was, I, I can't say I disagree with what he said. But for him to come out of his mouth, no, never, ever, ever. Oh, that should imagine if Trump said something some something like that. Okay, well first of all, wait, wait. That one outburst that Joe Biden had versus the mini 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 that Trump has had does not compare. Trump is still that's why people still say, Oh yeah, we're still we're still with Biden because we know Trump is way worse. But you don't you don't think that that comment was worse than every single thing? Any now I don't wanna say No. So name one no. thing that Trump said that was worse than that. Uh, these animals are ruining our society and economics. He, I think he said that about three weeks ago. These animals. Yes, these animals. It was one on his Twitter, and I was like, "What the freak?" You know, and also. But he. And that's the thing is like, I think people assume. So when he he. Called out. I'm trying to think of other things. Sorry, okay, go sorry for interrupting. No, go ahead. I was trying to think of this other thing, but okay, go ahead. Go ahead. He called out like, um, like all the riders. Yeah. And he, he he addressed them as thugs. That too. But there are white people at the riots. There are white people looting. White people stealing. But that term is usually pushed on black people. So he's using thugs because so, no, one, he would never go to a white person and say, "Oh yeah, he's a thug." Even if he was, if he saw one individual, I don't, one individual, individual white man do that stuff, he would never use a t word or term, thug. See, and never. that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. I think that's the same thing as like there's no evidence behind it. It's just my feeling is that he would never say that about a white person, even though it's not based in solid fact. He would not. He Trump is a racist, <laughs> and he's a rapist. <laughs> And that's on true facts. But, so, what? So another thing. Mm. I mean, I don't want to get into Trump at all, really, too much. Mm. Just one thing before before coronavirus hit. Mm. Black unemployment was at the lowest rate it's ever been in U.S. history, and they're saying, and he and people are trying to say he's a racist. He doesn't want to help black people. Listen, <laughs> I don't e think that's fair to say. Even with. Even with him being in office, majority majority of what Obama already put in place was still in action. It just didn't happen yet until a little bit later. So a lot of those policies, laws, and rules that got put in place for that kind of stuff happened, that decline was also part of help from Obama's administration. 
Maybe. All right, it wasn't I mean, just I'm solely sure. on Trump. I'm telling you, it wasn't just <laughs> solely on Trump. He did not just do that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make sure this happens. No, because he it, that, no. I don't know. I, I don't see. Like I think we can agree to disagree on this because, mm-hmm. I mean, no one. How do we know if that's true? There, there are reports out there. Washington. Yeah, but there are also reports on all the CNN. jobs and all the the things that Trump has done for it too. I'm not okay, and I'm not saying he hasn't done a great amount of stuff for the white man, but I'm just saying yeah, that he it's not a lot that he has done. I just in general, I, like I said, I don't really want to get into Trump too okay. much. Um, wait, wait, what? This this conversation we're having right now is going to oh, cut oh, out because oh, I oh. forgot <laughs> what you're going to. <laughs> <laughs> You said next topic. Started like, talking about <clears throat> Trump and forgot what, what we were talking about. What were we talking about before Trump? Uh, I was bringing up, I don't know if it was exactly right, but I was bringing up protests. I was wondering why you weren't part of it or why you feel like you, okay, so that's oh, why Oh, yeah, because I was, I was connecting two things, the Asian American Yes, thing. yes, yes. And I wanted to bring up, you said. Uh, so I, was, I think I, I used my word. So um, I don't think I'm going to put this part in there. I just want to tell you. Okay. Um. It was so. I think I would go. Okay. But I think it would be more for other people, rather. Why? So. Why? Why so would I would go mm-hmm. for you. But that shouldn't be the. I that's not. I do appreciate that, but that shouldn't be the case, though. You. No, no, no. You know, but this is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I would go for you because you're my friend. And I care about you. Mm-hmm. But I'm. I don't want to go. Like. I can't go for myself because it's something that I don't truly believe. Like, I obviously, like, Black Lives Matter, like, mm-hmm. obviously I believe that. Like, every everyone should be equal. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, like, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm with that. Okay. I'm sure. Um, right. But... Well, to be honest, on the phone call, I was like... Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, obviously, yeah, with that, it's it's more, like I said, um, I have that, that view, I think. I think right now actually i might put this in here okay um i think right now um our country is living in a state of confirmation bias and especially the our community especially the black community because um i didn't grow up this way but i there's a lot of black people do grow up this way and it's i taught i think have you ever experienced racism like anything ever happened to you before um I'm not saying it has to happen for you. No, no, no. You, you know, be part of this cause, so, but just So, curious. wait, what, can I finish this and then yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll answer? Yeah. Um, like I said, it's like we live in this big state of confirmation bias. So, if you're taught as a kid, or maybe if they didn't just tell you directly, mm-hmm. but you hear it mm-hmm. from, from people around you, you're, you're just, your community, your family, that America is racist, then when these things happen, it's... Con- Things confirm that bias. Like if I'm just like, well, dude, it's not bias. Cause no, the majority of this the country is no. Racist. But listen. Mm-hmm. So if I'm if I'm like, dude, I'm such an unlucky person. I'm the unluckiest person in the world. We we talking about? I'm saying I'm saying for for example, if I'm just like I'm the unluckiest person oh, in the okay, world. Okay, gotcha. And I and I walk throughout all my days thinking I'm the unluckiest person in the world. Mm-hmm. Anything that happens to me that seems like it's unlucky. I'm like, dude, why the heck is this happening to me? I'm so unlucky. No one has it like me. That's confirmation bias. And I think it's similar in the black community thinking, hey, America is racist. Um, we, they just be shooting random black people on the streets, which is not true. But for some reason, that notion has become a thing. Because it's it's not. There have been there has since... been a week, but that statement it was true because there have been cases where they done it for no reason or because they felt threatened and there was no threat at all. So, um, since like twenty thirteen, I believe. Okay. Let me there have. <laughs> I'm just curious why you picked that year. I know. I'm pretty sure it's since twenty thirteen. There have been um, nine killings of an unarmed black person. Nine, mm-hmm. which. Is too many. Not nine. One too many. Nine too many. Like not one should have happened. Um, Where are you? Since twenty thirteen. Since twenty thirteen. I think I got to see your sources. I don't know. Because <laughs> there, I've I I had a friend that gave me a certain uh, a statement like that too, and I I asked him for his sources. Yeah. I, I found no, out. No, we could we could look it up after for okay, sure. Yeah. Because right, I found out that that person that website was controlled by the KKK, and I was like, mm, <laughs> interesting. So so nine people since twenty. 20- 2013 uh we can we can check the sources after okay figure out if i'm accurate i think i'm pretty sure i am 
Um, we'll check it after. Um, but so there's this whole uh, notion, people in the black community and people in, in the white community, like people are believing this in our generation especially, is that um, black people are just being shot randomly on the streets for no reason it's at all. It's not, but you're saying belief. No, no, no. It's, so people are seeing it. No, but what, so what I'm saying is, mm-hmm. it's a, I'm saying just belief, okay? Let, okay. We'll, we'll talk about that after. Okay. But they have this belief that, um, you know, they're just getting shot randomly at the streets. But in, in like reality, like statistically, mm-hmm. When if someone dies, like let's say an unarmed black person did get shot and died, I of like the nine people who died from twenty thirteen, mm-hmm. it was because I don't want to say all of them, but mostly they were um, resisting arrest, like they were already in trouble. I'm not okay. I'm not saying that's justified for them to shoot and kill them. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that it it wasn't ne- necessarily for no reason it's like these people were already doing something bad see like, that's that's the that's the perp that's the thing i'm trying to get at is that yeah. if it was a white person even with with even with if they did all even if they did all that stuff they still would be having a peaceful arrest or they would just be sitting in jail but, and not be dead but statistically like i said i showed you the numbers mm, i got to read them sources go ahead because wait, wait, say one more time. Say I just time. I don't think it's the most fair thing to say that that person, if that person was white, they would have been okay. D- d- bruh, bruh, I, I don't know why you keep going back to that because out of the history, the past, even current, it's all, it's just it, it's not like we make this up. It's not like we just say, oh, it's going to be like that. No, it's because we have seen it being like that. No, but sorry, to keep going. No, 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 you're good, you're good. I, no, I cut you off though. <laughs> <laughs> there was also a. Where not even with murder, there was a case just to go on rape because I just made me think yeah. something. Where a white dude raped and was uh, he raped like two or three girls, I believe mm-hmm. it was, in one night. All of them, all of them gave this reports and everything. And he got nine months probation or something like that. A black man was having sex with his girlfriend. But she agreed to that and everything. Girlfriend, but he was eighteen, she was seventeen. Mm-hmm. He and got arrested huh? or something. The parents, yes, or yeah. and he, he got arrested and put the I think put the job like to five or something years. But how? So so how? so my thing is, mm-hmm. is I think we look at isolated cases too much. We look at too many isolated cases because. Okay. I like anyone can go to any group of a minority or mm-hmm. or white people mm-hmm. and be like that was an unfair sentence. They should have got more times or they should have got less time. If you choose isolated cases like that, I don't think it's fair to do that. And compare compare cases because okay, well, also okay, compare generally with, the, with our compare generally most they, there was even studies they did neutral groups where most people will be the same exact case and everything. And if it was a black man, they would sentence him to sentence him to a longer um, jail time or prison time. So maybe, mm-hmm. but there is a direct correlation. This is see, this is a, the thing that I think that needs to change, and I think that you will agree with it as maybe. well. Maybe. Um, is that in our justice system, mm-hmm. like it is innocent and proven until proven guilty, which is how it should be. Like there should have to be, you shouldn't be guilty until proven innocent. Like, I don't think it should be like no, that. No, and I, I definitely agree with that. But I'm saying... But... Also, the justice system is already mixed up. And this the system's already... Screwed. So... Because if you get good lawyers... And get that, you exactly. Anything, that's, what, that's what I was about to say. Hmm. Is this is the thing that I think needs to change. You mm-hmm. think needs to change. Mm-hmm. Is that if you have more money... Mm-hmm. Chances are you might not get charged. Yep. Or you might not get charged as much as you would have if you didn't have money. Yep. You know what's sad? What? The average working salary for like a, a white male mm-hmm. is like fifty nine thousand. Average working salary for a black male is like forty three thousand. Mm. Um, and like like I said, like the culture, our culture is basically like it's not cool to get good grades. And I think it's gonna change soon. I 
I really pray it changes soon. Well, I'm trying. Because, you know, I major in cybersecurity. I'm trying to make that a stereotype for black people. I would love to get back to my yeah. community so much. And then make it echo across all the whole nation. Um, but, honestly, I do see a point. And that's, the, that's another thing. It's, how come, okay, so when you think of the word ghetto, what, 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 what do you think of? I think of people in, not, some people, like, you you live in an inner city because it's cheaper, right? Mm-hmm. But that doesn't make you ghetto. What yep, makes yep. you ghetto mm-hmm. is if you're literally like running the streets. <laughs> like, okay. if you run in the streets, you're ghetto. Like, okay. Well, major- majority would, would think that they would put that to a black man's face and say, okay, if he did something wrong, he's acting ghetto. But not a lot of people use that term for white people, though. Why is that? Oh, I, I use it. I mean, I mean, it's easier for us to use it for white mm-hmm. people. Um, I don't know. I I mean, I really. I don't know, because I've just met so many ghetto white people, like, <laughs> mm. so it's hard for me to, to even, like, talk about that. So what air... Okay, We'd have to have, like, a white person in here to talk about that. Possibility. But what... What... what um, I mean, you're half white. So what... <laughs> uh, dang, what am I trying to say? You see, all across America, there are a bunch of towns, cities... Where it's you know dominantly you know predominantly black and yet yeah. they have a bad title it's like okay don't go to this area da 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 and usually when they get that kind of uh, status to it or ty- uh, what's the word I'm looking for I'm gonna use the word phrase right now that kind of phrase saying hey don't go there oh that's a bad part of the town or whatever mm-hmm. why is it that, that that's always a black town you never hear about I being a black t- a white town so like statistically mm-hmm. like I said so we both agree on this point is that. Families need to stick together. Mm-hmm. Like, you need to work things out. Parents need to be good to their kids. They need to teach them right. They need to bring them up right. I agree. Um, and I think, and we both agree, the foundation and, like, the, the black family, mm-hmm. they're not giving their children good a good, found, solid foundation. I, so... I- not, uh, not. I'm. I'm obviously not saying everyone. I know, but I'm. I'm even saying. Not even, I don't even know if I really want to say majority because even I don't like, even want to say majority either. Okay. Because it's not. It's not the majority. Okay. But it's a. It's a big chunk. Okay. Because like statistically, I think a black guy has a one in like four chance mm-hmm. of committing a crime. Some or it might. It might even be higher than that. I'm not sure, but, and it's not saying that. Um, like that they're going to be attacked by the cops or that white people are oppressing them. It's just saying they have that chance of committing a crime compared to like a one in like 16, one in 18 chance for like a white person to commit it. And I think that's, that comes down to like, um, to family and stuff. Um, okay. And sometimes, yes, yes, yes. Sometimes crime can happen or I'm sorry, um, change can happen to somebody negatively if they come from a broken family. Yeah. yeah so I have Not to, everyone. Like, mm. people do get out of it, mm-hmm. but everyone is different. Like, I believe if I grew up in a bad family, I don't think I would be where I am. I feel like I'd, I'd just be a bad person, honestly. Um, but everyone's different. Um, like, some people grow up in those scenarios, and then it fuels them to mm-hmm. just be better, give back to the community, raise a good family. So it can fuel them positively? Positively? Or, or negatively. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what makes them say they're positive. Positively? Positively, that's what I'm missing the T. Positively, that's what it was, and then negatively, um, yeah, it could de- go either way. Uh, what was I gonna say? Shoot, why am I forgetting? Hot. I turned that off and then it got hot. Why am I forgetting? What was I to say? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let's, hold let's hold it. Let's just hold it real quick. It's almost there. What am I trying to say? Oh God, it's almost there. What is it? What was I trying to say? Um, so. When you drive around, have you, you got pulled over by a cop before, right? So many times, dude. Okay. <laughs> Do you ever fear that some might change, my, some, you might not make it at this uh, conversation? Um, no, but I do have an example of something that did happen to me, actually. Okay. Is I was up in a, in a mill town. And I don't know what that is. It's in New Jersey. Um, okay. It's, um, everyone there is white. Okay. Like, I don't know if there's a single black person in there. I'm not even... What's it called? Milltown? Milltown. I'm yeah. not exaggerating. I don't know if there's a single black person who resides there. Okay. Um, and then I got pulled over um, 
because I I wasn't like on my phone. It was back. I had an old car and mm-hmm. I didn't have like Bluetooth or anything. Um, so I was holding it like this and I had it on speaker. But I guess the the officers saw that I I was holding my phone mm-hmm. in my hands. Um, but it wasn't like I was texting or I had the phone up like that. Okay. So it was weird. But he he pulled me over and everything. And immediately, like I said, if I if I got pulled over here, mm-hmm. they're not looking at me in that way. No. But at the same time, um, so he pulled me over, um, and he's like just asking me like, "What are you doing up here? Like, you don't even live anywhere close around here." Mm. And he basically like kind of was like trying to get information out of me, like that I was like selling drugs or doing drugs. Mm. Like he, it, it was really apparent. He was just being a real meathead to me. But so for me. Mm-hmm. I could take that as this guy was racist mm. or mm. I can take it as this is a cop, a meathead cop who's just abusing his authority. Usually they sort of kind of go hand in hand a little bit. But I think that's the thing is the amount of cops that I see take advantage of their badge. So sorry about that. Um, camera was about to die. We had to change the battery. Um, but we were basically, I was just talking about um, me getting pulled over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I already explained it. Um, but so there's two ways you could take it. I think there, the one way is like you just say, oh, that cop was racist. Or you say, hey, that cop's a meathead abusing his authority. And I choose the second because the amount of cops I see mm-hmm. who literally turn on their, their lights and run red lights and then turn it off as soon as they get past. Yeah. The amount of cops I see, there's a line of traffic, they turn on their lights, go yeah. around on the shoulder. That's, just to, that's um, uh, wow. Like the they can't. use of their authority. Yeah, they can't do that, technically. Like, they're not allowed to do that, but so they do it. Why do you consider, okay, that, yes, I consider that. But why can't you consider the cop that stopped you racist? Um, and I, so, that's a good question, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's why I'm saying there's two different ways you could take it. Um, but the reason I take it as this guy was a, a dude just abusing his authority mm-hmm. is because whenever wherever I go, I I have not met a single racist person. Oh really? Not one. That's not, that's and it's because and I think it's because of my my world view. Is because like I said, I, out there. <laughs> my world view is just like I don't know. Most people are inherently good. By like worldly standards, I would love. Mm-hmm. I would like to say. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's there is. Um, I don't know. I don't think people are are racist, but I think there is a part of people who who do think, um, like maybe. I don't know. Like if they walk by a group of black people, that they might want to like cross the street or something like that. Well. But, yes, and that's subconsciously. Yes, yeah, subconsciously, but in their heart, like they don't hate black people. They don't want to oppress well, okay, black listen, people. But there are, there are some like that. But there are also are racists. No, yeah, no, yeah. I'm, no, yeah. I'm, I'm not okay. saying that there's no racists. Okay. But I'm just saying the majority of people, okay. in my opinion, I don't think are racist, and that's the same thing. Um, so uh, I think you would agree with this as well. Mm. Is that. I feel like on social media and at all these riots, I have, I have seen peaceful protests and I don't think that they think the same because the people at at riots, they're just like, Oh, you're a police officer. Mm -hmm. You're evil. Like, that's the thing. (laughs) I'm like, I don't think that's even true. I think it's just annoying when you see them standing on the other side. It's like, no, bro, we want you to be on our side. We want to be connected. We want to be a mutual agreement. We don't want this hate between us. That's why I yeah. love it when I see videos where you see cops or sheriffs or deputies yes. hugging each other. I love praying, that, And it's like, okay, dude. that's amazing. That's all, that's all I want. I don't understand why we, I don't understand why it has to be so much violence from the cop side as well. Yeah, no, yeah. And it, it just, it blows my mind. And, it's, and it hurts me seeing anger all around, but especially for my people mainly. And then also, it's, it's just so sad and upsetting to see people lost or yes. not educated or just not even caring. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't care about this whatever side you're on mm. wait if you don't care about this like at all if this doesn't upset you mm. you probably are racist i think that's that 
the silence is also a stance. All right. If you don't say nothing or don't do anything at all, that's also taking a stance. And that's that's I think that 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 can echo for the rest of this time on this earth. Because honestly, it pisses me off anytime I see somebody say, "Oh wait, I support you guys. I really do." Um, but I just, I mean. I don't know if I really want to, you know, say anything right now. It's like, okay, well then you're really not supporting. Because anybody could say that. Anybody could say that to your ear but not actually do any action. Or mm -hmm. put anything on their own page too. Like that, if I don't see that kind of stuff, it makes me think like, okay, well maybe you don't support me. Or maybe you don't actually agree with us. Maybe you're just saying this so you don't, don't even feel some type of way towards you right now. So, like, you know, because of all this right now going on. And then you could be good later. But if you actually don't put nothing on your page or actually do something in action... I don't know. I'd be feeling some type of way. See, I'd rather see action mm -hmm. than people say words. I agree. Because I'm be, I mean, dude, I'm doing I, both myself, but yes. Yeah, yeah. You, I totally. <laughs> but like, dude, the amount of people that I saw just like post like a, a black screen, mm -hmm. dude. I know they it meant don't to them. care. They don't yeah, care it meant at, to them. at all. And all these companies. That are doing the same thing. They're issuing out statements. What? They're they're doing it. Do you know why? Because not because they care. They want business. So, yes, like. the majority of them do, and I, I will agree that. But I'm, I'm not going I'm not gonna lie. Some of the statements, it could. I will say this. A lot of them could have went like one generic way and said, "Oh, this, 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 this," and been done. Say PlayStation yeah. or whatever, whatever the uh, company is. But some of them they went even further. Like I don't know if you saw Ben Ben Ben's and is it Ben and Jerry's? No, I didn't I see. I. I I, I'm not even an ice cream person, but I will make sure <laughs> I will make sure I buy me a pint of ice cream every time I leave a, a grocery store because I felt that they said way they said so much it made me feel it. I was like, yes. Why, why am I not working for you? Like I, honestly, I felt it so much. So certain companies, I'm like, okay, I know, yeah, I know y'all yeah, felt yeah. that. I know y'all definitely were on our side. But other companies, I do agree. It's very generic or short. It's like to the it's like, okay, yeah. Whatever. And it's just like, but I do appreciate it though. So, I uh, hate. So what I don't like. Is when people or companies mm. are being political when they don't, when they shouldn't even be political. Like, I agree. it's, I think it's different. Like, take a stance for what you think is right. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, like, that's important no matter where you are. But when companies get political about things, mm -hmm. when no one wants them to be political, no, they're there for the merchandise or the service. I'm just like, yeah. Stop. <laughs> like, please I completely agree. stop. Um, but anyway, to, to circle this back around, um, I think we talked about a lot of stuff. There's always more to talk about. Always yes, more. But I do want to come to a point. So, are you available Friday? What time? 3.30. 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock? Okay, so... It just depends what time I get So, at, it starts get from like 3.30, but it ends like roughly like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. No, yeah, I'll I'll totally come honestly. Okay. Um, but like but I said, I, I do appreciate you saying that, like, because there is a post I put out there saying, "Hey, if you have black friends, kids, significant others, family, whatever, you should be out here too." Honestly, I that's why I personally think so. But I do appreciate you saying you're doing it for me, but I think you should be doing it just for because it should be done. It sh we should all be out there. That's what I personally think. I want you to just think that over. Of course, I appreciate you coming anyway, but just think that over. I want you to be there for yourself too. Because if you see yourself as a black man, there should be no offense or buts of why you're not out there. That's what I just want to make clear real quick. So I said it was coming to an end, but mm -hmm. I think honestly we can we can just keep talking until like it just dies out because, okay. um, you know I think we we both have a lot of good things to say and I think it's a beneficial conversation for both of us mm -hmm. um, because, like, because um, I have one side, but now I'm hearing your side. Mm -hmm. Um, and I hear that, and you definitely and you, some good and you're hearing my side. You some good points, yeah. Um, but I do think like we have mutual agreement with police brutality and stuff, mm -hmm. which that should never be okay, ever. Like if a person is restrained, stick them in the cop car. That's it. Like your job as a police officer is to serve and protect Americans. Yep. That's it. It is and not also pol being a police officer is a choice. Skin color is how you're born, or if it changes over time, whatever. That's not your choice. That's something you got to live with and be proud with. Uh, yeah, that's why. I, I, that's why I feel like when they put up these blue lives matter, I'm like, mm, you choose to do that. This is just this is your profession that you wanted to do begin, 
no, we they're, didn't choose they're, to be black. That's facts, but they're, they're, they're putting up Blue Lives Matter because, like I said, like the black cop literally died to a rider and no one talked about it. Well, that, like, I, yes, you're right. So th- not knowing that information, I'm like, okay, yes, I w- I'm glad you told me that because I do find that very upsetting and God rest his soul. But there's not that many cases where that happens, though. Not, not compared to how many injustices there um, have been for black people, you know, being treated it's, unfairly or, you know, arrested unfairly or killed unfairly. It's more... Or no one should be killed. I, should put it's, that last I think three times more likely for a black man to kill a white cop than it is for a white man to kill a black cop. Uh, I'm not going to remember. I mean, I can't say agree or disagree with that one. Um, yeah, well, I, pr- I probably... Probably because so much hate that's in that black man. If that did, ha- if it is that kind of, I think uh, it's statistics. it's hard. It's hard. So I saw a video, mm-hmm. um, and this hurt like to watch. Like mm-hmm. honestly, um, cause like it makes you realize how tough uh, a cop's job actually is. Um, there was this dude, like a black guy. Mm-hmm. He had like a hoodie. He was like talking on the phone, mm-hmm. um, and this cop was like. Like, stop, stop, stop. Get your hand out of your pocket. Like, stop. Okay. And, like, you don't see the context before it. But I would imagine the dude was just acting really sketchy. Like, he was just acting really sketchy. The cop's chasing him down, right? Was the... Okay, wh- okay. Was the black guy walking or, or running? He was, like, walking. But he was walking away from the cop. Okay. All right, So, cool. um, but like I said, you don't get the full context of the video because you only see when he starts, like, going after the guy. Okay. Um... And the dude's walking, like, talking on the phone, hand in his pocket. Mm-hmm. And he's like, get your hand out of your pocket, get your hand out was of your pocket. Was he looking his way or looking the other way? He 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 knew he knew he was there, like, he knew. Um, then, two seconds later, guy mm-hmm. pulled out a gun from his pocket, shot the cop twice. If, so, this is the job of the cop. This is why there are unjust shootings. There are shootings from uh, people who who are unarmed. I'm not saying all of them are just. Um, okay, but I... I but sometimes, I'm saying, I get, like, sometimes I get upset. Okay, yes, I do agree with that. There are situations where um, if the cop didn't, you know, do for, you know more extreme um, excessive force, there would have been an alternative where he would have passed away. I do agree with that. But I feel like anytime we bring up Black Lives Matter or... Mm-hmm. Uh, there's more injustices than others. It's always somebody saying but or however or with whatever kind of rebuttal. And it's like, why is it why is it so hard to say yes? Yes, we agree. Black lives do matter. And also, this is wrong. We need to make sure we get justice for not just one person, but all no, yeah. previous, no, previous No, I, so I agree totally mm-hmm. with, like, getting justice for injustices, mm-hmm. proving people who are innocent, mm-hmm. proving people um, guilty. Okay. Like... I agree with literally all of that. My thing is, is if a person is, is guilty, I want them to be guilty. Like, so like, so like I said, so uh, I guess going back to the point is like the dude turned around and shot the cop. Mm -hmm. And this is a job that cops face every single day is they have to make a decision. Is this person harmful? Is he dangerous? Or is he just Fine. Like, I also got to throw a scenario out, out there too. That's why majority of people, black people, have to make the decision if they even want to leave their house, or go on a night walk, or you know, go to the store whenever time of the day. Like, if, because they have to make a decision. Okay, would this be the right time? Um, am I, am I um, in the right clothes? Uh, let's see what else. Uh, is this the right neighborhood? Or you know, is it predominantly white? Because you know, some people be a little bit crazy, just want to call for no reason. Because the same way how cops have that choice to see if it, you know, that's a threat or not, black people have a choice, or sometimes not even that, have that decision to see, okay, is this worth it to go this route or not? And sometimes that decision, you know, hurts them in the end or kill them in the end, and it's even worse for that right reason. But it happens more so for black people than it is for cops, though. Even though cops do die, and I, God rest their soul, I, not, I'm not saying that should happen at all. But I feel like most people try to come up with another scenario. Like, oh, yeah, you know, this cop had passed away and this was a black person. Da, da, da. But it's like, this is happening more to black people and it's being filmed more. Because people are seeing the injustice. Because if it, 
and I know you said, okay, but we can't say that because it's, um, it's not happening. But if it was a white person, that wouldn't have happened. And the reason why we can say that is because we see comparisons with other cases. Yeah, but so like I said, it's like, it's so easy to look at isolated cases. Like, it's just too easy to do that mm. um, and compare. And I think it's unfair to do that. Because, like, I can literally go through cases mm. and be, like, like on in favor of, like, the white person side. Well, I'm talking about cases, even cases with the same judge. Yeah, but, like I said... No, I'm saying if, they, you, no, no, if that judge gives, a, you know, yeah. the verdict to that person says, okay, probation. But this one says, oh, no, nine years in the prison. Mm-hmm. That think, judge has to be racist. Maybe or if it's the same exact scenario, has to, he has that's the only thing that comes up, bro. Maybe or mm. the person who got off had a bunch of money. Which there and mm. everyone like this is a known fact. The more the more mo- money you earn is in direct correlation to your conviction rate. Like direct correlation. Mm. I think that's what people need to talk about too. It's not necessarily just about your your skin tone. If you right. don't, if you can't, mm. OJ Simpson. Yeah. This is now. This is an isolated case. I don't like doing it, but mm. like I said, OJ Simpson, mm. a lot of money, black guy. Do you think he killed? <laughs> I'll be honest. I, I, I really, I, I'm still fifty. I really, I, I personally don't know. But if I had to say, well, I, if I had to pick a side, I'm like, mm, yeah, I think he did. I, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I do think he did, but, but I'm still 50-50 he, on it, though. Like, but so, either way, mm. he had money, and he got off, because he got the best lawyers, mm. dude. And I, it's, I think it's, like, it's really unfair to say certain things, um, just because of, like, things like that, is, like, money really does, and that's the thing that I think we both think needs to change. The amount of money you earn should not dictate whether you go to jail or not i agree i definitely agree because so, a lot of people will be doing some stupid stuff and we'll be able to get re- that's the thing the reason why it becomes like more i guess it just does you know it hits financials as well but it becomes more black and white because you don't there's not that many neighborhoods or cities or towns or areas where black people are making so much more money mm-hmm. than white people it's always white people making more than black and that's why you see um crime rates in black neighborhoods or yeah. stuff like that you know, shoot through the roof. Yeah, but so, so, so we agree on that too. Mm-hmm. It's it's more on my end. Mm-hmm. I feel like you it shouldn't be blamed on white people. Like, well, like, and they're the, the ones. They're the ones up top, though. But why? It's not so. I don't think there's a real like conspiracy about it. Like that's like, mm-hmm. I feel like people think that the world is just some big conspiracy but in reality it's like the person works you're you're seeing you're seeing the fruits of that person's labor you're not even seeing the labor and you're ma- and people are making judgments saying that they got it handed to like i think that is one thing that well sometimes that's true and others yeah no I yeah do, some some people are handed saying, things <laughs> actually majority now but yes i will say this there are some that actually are very hard working and dedicated and all that stuff and i agree with, and i Definitely applaud for them making them make it to that status, like um, you. Well, I mean, I it wasn't. I, yes, I, bro. Yeah, I got. Bro, it. I, I, I. You I, work so hard, dude. I, I, you work so hard. I wasn't always like this, though. No, but so, either way. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah, yeah, but I will say this. I I feel like I get mad because my mom. I seen her growth. Yeah. I, there would be nights where we didn't have electricity. Mm-hmm. And other kind of, you know, uh, water or, uh, what's, the, what's it called? Stuff, I couldn't even think of the, the name. Not appliances, but other, bills had to be paid. Yeah. Stuff that couldn't get done. And we had to live in those kind of, you know, that kind mm-hmm. of, that night or that week or even that month. And I seen her growth for how she was a strong black woman. And she, and also because my dad passed away, so she had to take care of two kids, work a full-time job, all by herself. Is that lightning? Yeah. Dang. All right. All by herself. And it just amazed me because at the time, I, I, when I was a kid, I didn't appreciate it more. And I'm so mad at myself because I, I, I didn't realize she was doing She was handling all the, the whole world on her own. Mm-hmm. And I think because I saw my mom do that, I was able to take that part of her, see that, and want to be that. Yeah. Because I wasn't always like this, trust me. I, I used to be dumb in school. I, I, I was dumb and smart. But you know what? I used, to not, <laughs> I used to not care in school. Yeah. So when I did, I did. If I did, I did it. So. 
Um, well, so, question, why didn't you care in school? I don't, was it because, like, the people around you? Or were you I got it, I, I guess maybe yes, because I guess when a, I was considered a nerd at one point, or I guess I still am, whatever, <laughs> uh, I would get teased for, you know, studying this or being interested in that. And then, okay, cool, let me just not worry about that no more. And then teachers get mad at me and say, Tim, you could have easily got a B on this. I'm not B, an A on this. I know you could have did this. And I'm like, no, I don't really care. So, so I guess, yes, that's true. So I think Because of the environment, I did feel some type of way. of a, an issue. Mm-hmm. And this is something that our community needs to change. Like, mm-hmm. and more people like you, and I know you're going to be stepping up, but more people like you should mm-hmm. be stepping up and influencing young black kids. And that's why I said... Because I, they're literally growing up in an environment where it's not cool to get good grades. And you're wondering why your your uh, um, average income is significantly less than a white guy. And I, like, do, I do agree with that. And I, I because, because there's not so many role models for uh, young black men or women, mm-hmm. children, people, it's hard for them to see that vision. And I think only because I was able to get that direct lesson in teaching from my mom, yeah. it, it helped me see what I want to be and what I want to do. Because, uh, you know, everybody, you will hear this story the entire life. Oh, you could do so much better. You have so much potential. And it, because it, because you hear it so much, it's like, okay, is it really even true? Once you see it firsthand or, like, you're really, like, you're really immersed in it, then it, it really helps you to see your true potential. Yeah. Because I know I'm not where I want to be yet. And you, you could say, you know, you're doing great. Thank you. I do appreciate it. I really do. But I'm not there yet. I'm not there no, where, I yeah. even, I, where I can even say, yes, I am doing great right now. I don't know. It's just I. I, just, I no, know but I that, that's such like an amazing thing that that needs to be like talked about. Mm. Like, instead of like, that's why so many young black kids join gangs is yeah. for that sense of family. Yeah. And they're just doing crime together. Like, yeah. that should not be the standard. I that should not be the culture. Definitely agree with that. And that needs to change hundred percent. So. Here's our common ground, is black families mm-hmm. and black culture, they, it needs to be changed. And black men need to step up. Okay, yeah, I guess, yes, change is... Sh- I should say grow. Gr- grow. Yes, I do yeah. like that more. Yeah, yeah. I do like that more. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, and black men need to just yeah, step it's, up. because it's also hard. That's why I'm a little confused how it's not even with, like, any any person that you know loses loses their father mm-hmm. or doesn't have their father in their life um or that role model i'm really confused why it's not more respectful women because i'm also an equalist yeah. and an improving feminist so i i am actually really shocked from that one i'm glad i came out properly pro- pro- proper with this um um interest as well as uh advocate for women's right mm-hmm. and all that i, I just I, i'm just shocked at how it's not yes I want women to be yeah, successful, yeah, yeah. successful as us, make the same money as us, treat it the same way. I don't understand why it's so hard to get that. I, it's, um, I guess there's another whole conversation. Yeah, too. that's a whole other conversation. We're not even yeah. getting into it. Yeah. Um, but the biggest thing I could say about like black men stepping up is just because every single statistic, every single study shows that when you have a strong father figure in your life, it's only beneficial to you. And when you take that out, it does it's only it does, negative. It does it not only because uh, for me sadly so I, mine wasn't you know towards it didn't happen, uh, so I was put in the stereotype you know growing up without fa- growing up. Wait, without how father. old were you? When... Uh, I was ten. Oh dang, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm 21 now, turning 22 this summer. But mm. so I, yes, I did put in that stereotype, but I can't say for me that I changed or went negative side so, because I always had a laughing problem. I just <laughs> I always love to laugh, make everybody else laugh, as a class clown, whatever. Fall, but I can't say my attitude really changed or in that sense. Um, yeah. So not not majority may, might see that you know become that way. The role, the father figures pulled out their life. Um, it hurts them and they just want to you know. Blame you're the world an, out, you're an outlier, bro, for sure. I, well, for sure. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I think because my mom, I was able to see. Yeah. She, I, I was, of course, my dad's always gonna be there with me, but my mom with that direct teaching. I mean, about life. Without her actually saying anything, just me showing showing everything to me, it was easy for me to feed off of that and want to do so much more. So, yeah, I, trust me, I, 
Yeah, and she a bold, beautiful black mom too. Yeah, ain't no better than my mom. That's what I said. <laughs> so I, I think that because of that, it helped me out. So I, I will say this: if it wasn't for my mom, I, I might have been, I, mm. I might have just been going straight down because. I, I, I don't know. I, yeah, because yeah. at, at least you had a, like, just a really good mom too. Yes. Because not everyone even has that. And that's true. And that's true. And it's hard for, and like I said, it's so much. It's so so hard for you know, young black you know future leaders to s- become that potential they you know they truly can be because mm-hmm. they don't have the role models that are already out there. So for me, I'm trying to be that. I would love to be that. Uh, trust me, I'm definitely an advocate for Willem Bro. Uh, I plan on if I, I'm planning on making millions. I, that's be my goal, and then give back to my community. I want to give like majority, at least a good 50, 60 percent of all that I make, so I can give back to my community because they they, they have a bad rep now, and I don't like yeah. that. Um, dude, I used to deliver to Willingboro, mm. um, for work. Mm. Dude, it was my favorite place to deliver. Like, cause <clears throat> one one thing about black people, man, mm-hmm. is. Most of the time, we're not in a rush. Uh, no. I know. I'm so, not. like, yeah. if I'm, like, blocking a street off mm-hmm. and someone's behind me, they're not honking at me. <laughs> like, they're just, let, them, let me do my thing, and, like, it's all good. I mean, like, White people, bro, I swear, they just be honking. Like, I remember one time, the, the, the light just turned green. I think in the, the same nanosecond it turned green he beat the horn <laughs> i got so mad i said okay okay i said fine and he was the only one behind me because if it was another car behind him i would have said fine i'll keep going but i got so mad i said okay cool i <laughs> stayed right stayed right there for a good i would say two minutes and then i waited for the next light to turn red and then he got mad he's like he held his horn i i couldn't do nothing but smile i was like i don't care like you think i you think i didn't do that for a reason i want you to realize to get angry because you got me mad so i trust me i i agree with that i definitely agree with that. and that's probably because um Black people time is definitely a real thing. It's 100% it's a, real a real thing. thing. He, uh, he came to my house. We were supposed to record it like 30, 40 minutes earlier, but whatever. It's all good. Um, so it's about, it's starting to like rain. I don't know when it's going to start raining really hard and it'll mess up the audio. Mm-hmm. Um, so I wanted to talk about um, police brutality um, real quick before closing. Yeah. And also what we should, because um, this is like, we agree about family, uh, black community. Mm-hmm. We agree about police brutality that that's a thing yep uh and we agree um that the uh the justice system should be changed it, like you should it shouldn't depend it on should how much scrubbed, money you make. start from new a new foundation everything it, it shouldn't be because uh, all that was created when slavery was still in so it, i it's just money shouldn't have an influence on it that too um so we'll talk about this one first because i was thinking about this a little bit um I don't have any solutions in my head, mm. and normally I would have ideas, mm. but for this, is difficult because then, when you take your money out of the situation, mm-hmm. what money comes in to pay these people? What comes, what money comes, whose money comes in to pay these lawyers? Everyone else's. Tax payers. Mm. And that's where the conversation is hard to talk about because it's like, I, I'm not going to court. I'm never going to do a freaking crime like ever just because of how I was raised. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to do a crime. I'm not going to go to court. I'm not going to need that lawyer unless, you know, some things happen. My but. goal, my goal is to not do a crime, <laughs> but I'm be honest with how things are now. So right, it's, it's just, um, it hurts me to see, like I said, it hurts to see my people in anger. Yeah. It, it hurts me to my core. And I understand that anger though. I understand that frustration. Yeah. I'm be honest. I'm I'm all about keeping peace. But if somebody if it if it takes too many more white people or people in general just doing stuff dumb stuff, staying in silence or even speaking out on the opposite term, saying oh no 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 everything you're saying is wrong, it's going to take me to that brink to be like, okay. I'm understand. I'm definitely with y'all now. And I'll be honest. If a white person ever put their hands on me, <laughs> well, if they put your hands on you, you have every right to just, just... trust me. I, you're, <laughs> you're, you're gonna see a whole new ten. It's not gonna be a joke. <laughs> They really gonna know where these hands come from. It's not gonna be a joke at all. <laughs> but um, yeah, so like I said, um, I have no ideas for that for that change. Yeah. Um, it, it, because it comes from taxpayer dollars. Like if you if you remove that whole thing that it, it um, that however much money you make dictates whether you might be convicted or not. Mm. When you remove that factor out of it, then uh, the money comes from taxpayers, and it, yeah. it gets. Too much harder conversation. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So I can't think of anything. <laughs> but it's it's sad that he even has to come to this. this it is, type it, of is, discussion. it is sad. It is sad. Um, I think there should be more push maybe to to donate to these things. Yes. Like maybe. And I already donated fifty dollars myself. So. To. Oh, I'm sorry. You're talking about. I'm sorry. I'm talking. I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> for George Floyd, I'm talking about that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm talking about for like maybe there needs to be like this fund uh, for people who are like going to court who need lawyers and stuff, mm. um, so people can just donate. Um, and like not everyone's gonna donate, mm-hmm. um, and I feel like that's how it should be. You shouldn't be forced to donate to something. No, I, like I, yeah. even though it sucks because people are it selfish. It should be from your own free will. Not yeah, I do. Yes. yes. Um, so I guess like that's one thing, but you can, anyone can start that. Literally mm-hmm. any person can start that. Um, and then police, police brutality. Um, the one thing I think that needs to change is like, I think their entire training needs to be changed. Yes. Just look that I think they need to, too. they need to get better training. And also, cause I witnessed other new videos where people, uh, in these riots, they would get slammed down. And the first thing that these people would do, and I'm, I have not seen a black person do it yet. It would be a white man putting their knee on this on the person's neck. I'm like, what the freak? Like, yeah, this it's is not even part of their training. Like they should not do that ever. Um, and it took a whole. They, they were screaming, saying, "Hey, get your knee off his neck, get your knee, he, for a he, good minute." And they took the other cop to get his knee. He didn't do it himself. He got the other cop moved his knee dude, over. It was like, dang. That yeah, that's just crazy. Um, but yeah, so I think the the thing that could change, the thing that could. Um, calm down police brutality because in in all reality Mm -hmm. is that that will always be a thing even if it gets to 0.1 percent of like uh altercations it will always happen because people some people are just not good people and sometimes you don't realize until something bad happens that they're Mm -hmm. not a good person um but That's why I, I want all these. If you racist or if you don't like black, black people, let us know. I, I'm a rather <laughs> you just let me know because we we get that together right, oh, yeah. real quick and short. I'm telling you right now, and I'm glad anonymous. You know who anonymous is? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad he revealing more and more. I just, I love it. I love it because I don't know why you gotta hide. That's Dude, how you, you know, feel. You know, you know his Twitter. That Twitter thing is fake though. What's what are you talking about? Like the Twitter account anonymous. Oh yeah, well yeah, I'm yeah that's dude. Yeah. Why do so many people follow that account when it's not? <laughs> I mean, I I, I, I haven't done you, it myself. You follow no, it? I, I actually I have not. Actually, you know what? Just to prove, <laughs> just to prove that I haven't. Who's that? Wait, who's that? I think uh, food. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, it started. It's, there's the lightning's going crazy. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. This video has been going on for over an hour and a half. Yeah, and it's flashing, flashing. Holy crap. Uh, um, so I guess holy crap you can probably hear the thunder in the in the mic um, but to close it out um, that, what'd you just say? to close it out oh I thought you said what'd you think I said? to tickle it out <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, but to close things out I think uh, from my end I think what um, what needs to be enforced to stop police brutality or at least um, reduce it mm. is maybe have um, routine check-ins with families like every single month. I um, completely agree. Because uh, if you're mistreating your family, odds are you're mistreating other people out on the hey, road. Hey. Like, you know what I'm home. saying? Everything starts from home. Exactly. So these things need to happen way more often. I don't know if they even do them. I'm sure they don't. Or but if they do, they definitely they need very, to be very, very lazy on them. And every, not much. every single month, um, this guy... Whatever his freaking name is, this cop that that killed mm. George Floyd, I guarantee, if they went three weeks before and talked to his wife about him and his mental state, and his wife divorced him too. His wife divorced him, but so that shows a lot. Right obviously, there. she divorced him right away. Obviously, this was like the tipping point. Like this is like this, she probably saw all the discrimination, exactly. racial, racial profiling, the, she the saw comments, all this the stuff, hate, the hating, um, the hatred of. Um, uh, wow, the hatred he felt towards them, but I was, I was trying to say another word. Dang it, we'll come back to that. Either way. Uh, but yeah, she probably saw all of it beforehand and said, yep, this is it. I'm not going to be with you for this. And also, I have I have I heard a couple of comments saying that she probably did it because um, she didn't want to be hated on herself. I can't say, I f- I it know. might I be a little bit so. true, who knows, but I, I can't so. say I agree with that fully. But mainly, she she had to see something beforehand though. Because yeah. if usually, 100%. if you if you like really really love somebody and you know that's not them, you yeah. you still stay exact, with them. Exactly. That's exactly like, my point. Is like if you can be a hated person in the world, but still you still stay with them. That's okay. But she must have saw this coming. Like okay, exactly. This is, it. this is it. Exactly. So I guarantee, if they did routinely check ins like that, mm-hmm. talk to her wife, 
And they promise these family members protection too. I think that's a big thing. Because mm. if if you don't promise them protection, if you can't protect these families, mm. they're not going to come out against these cops. They're not going to come out against these people. So they need to, there needs to be protection. That lightning was yeah, crazy. Yo. <laughs> yo. that's Okay, go ahead. Go there idea. needs to be protection to the families, and there needs to be routine check-ins. Mm. And maybe, I don't know if this is even possible, what? but there needs to be people or just one designated person um, no who, who literally, um, so like, I don't know. Because I do see a lot of cops on the road, and it's just one cop. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, they they're in the shifts, car. Right? They do have different shifts, but maybe mm-hmm. they need to have a, a partner um, well, who some... is literally dedicated to stopping things like that from happening. Okay, yes. You but, know it, what I'm but sometimes you got to think about each, you know, town. And I do agree. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Ha- that that's what happen. I'm saying is like, that's, that's, it's hard because mm. where's the money coming from? It's coming yes. from us. Mm-hmm. Like, and also, is that is it that many officers yeah. signing up for that you know that yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. specific whatever department is behind? Um, I don't know. So I guess what I could say is um, when they have these um, when they're trying to restrain a person, mm-hmm. you have a person literally there designated to stopping any injustices from happening. Okay, um, that's one thing mm-hmm. that I think is possible. Hopefully, I I would love it to be. I would love to be alive for that day. I really would, and let, and let it be in my young days too. So those are the things that um, I think we agree on them. Mm-hmm. I don't. It's hard to come up with change when when you don't know all the whole system too. Um, but that's true. I feel that like. True. But when you hear lawyers and a judge and mm-hmm. people on that side that know more of the law, mm-hmm. still rooting, you know, on our side, it tells you more. Like they Dude. know they know more, and he's still saying yes. <laughs> I agree. Bro, lawyers piss me off too. Cause like you can know a person's guilty, mm. but you are you're it. obligated to defend them. And nah, I, I wouldn't. I, that, I wouldn't do that. I just wouldn't. Do like that. I could not do that. If nah. I know a person's guilty, dude, I'm like, yeah. I'm just like they're guilty. You're not gonna sit there and tell me, commit to me, <laughs> admit to me that you murdered that person, and be like, okay, I'm gonna defend it though. Like say, oh, but this, this, you know, this, from this angle, you see that he was. Yeah. Just, no. Exactly. Nah. That to me is horrible. That, that tells so I don't, that you're part of the problem as well. I don't that. know. I don't know what they need to do about that, but there needs to be some serious discussion mm-hmm. on that, and that part, that part needs to change. Um, so I think. I think this was a good talk because um, we agree on a lot of points, but we're on two separate sides. It's like, for me, um, just to sum it all up, uh, you know, I, I truly do believe um, that most people are good. And I truly do believe that most people aren't racist. And if most people aren't racist, the country itself isn't racist because the country is literally built off the people because, like, everything like we vote for like that comes to be like the power is in the people um so that's so that's why i don't i don't think the country's racist as a whole um not no not as a whole of course not of course not. no i'm saying like i'm saying built in like with the laws and mm-hmm. everything um and just and just to add on that's why i just go back just a little bit just a little bit, just a little yeah. bit sidetrack previous sidetrack that's why when i see like well people writing and stuff like that it's like mm, how i mean when i see the posting like, saying how can you get mad at people taking that taking back stuff that they built for free. Yeah. And it's like, mm, I mean, hey, I can't get get mad at that statement. I really mm. can't, honestly. I understand the frustration. I understand the anger. Yeah, I told, I told, like I said, I understand the frustration, like completely. So like, I'm really sympathetic um, toward this whole thing. Um, and I did want to end it up with a with a Bible verse, um, and I, I'll find it right now. I'll find it real quick. Uh, mm. I'm not gonna cut this part out just because. It's basically the end of the video anyway. <laughs> um, so, uh, here we go. Because we are, we're both Christians. Um, and I think, honestly, if if everyone had everyone Jesus, had. if everyone knew Jesus, of course, this of stuff course. would not be. <laughs> it, no, no it, it is, it's actually sad because even cr- some Christians are out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Acting like this is not like part of their cause too like come on god god loved all his creatures created them for a reason that was a bright one I that, saw that. Yeah. um but yeah they're still out here defending the opposite it's just like yeah that's so, kind of it hurts me that so this is um the bible verse i wanted to to say um this is jesus he didn't say this but this is um from jesus's perspective 
when he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them. Sorry, I'm going to restart. It is Matthew uh, 9.36. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Okay. Um, and I feel like that is a place that our country is in right now. Mm. Um, they're harassed, helpless, sheep without a shepherd. And I will say this, that the two songs I've been listening to back to back, I'm in an angry mood, angry, angry mood, or upsetting mood, I should say. Uh, I've been thinking, listening to the song, Take Me to the King. Uh, beautiful, beautiful song. I love it so much. Uh, Tamela Mann, uh, she, beautiful singer. Uh, I personally think you should listen to that anytime you're feeling bad or sad or mad. Uh, Cause it just it warms my heart. It, it makes you tear up a little bit, just a little bit, but it still makes you. It, it basically takes out that anger in a different way, without actually putting them towards violence or hit anything or any like anything like that. It puts the anger towards a different way. And then another song, I believe. Shoot, I'm forgetting his name. I forget who's by. I believe. I believe. I believe. Listen to that too. Mm-hmm. Terrence Johnson. No, I lied. No, I lied. I lied. James Fortune. James Fortune. That's what it is. James Fortune. And I. I believe oh, that song is really good. I, I need lie. to listen to him for sure. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, um, definitely. But yeah, the rain is, is really starting to, it's about to start like pouring, yep. I can tell. Yep. Um, so to close it really quickly, mm. I've said that like 25 times to be exact. Um, any last thoughts? I, just, I mean, I wanted to say thank you because, you know, m- most people would not do this. Mm. Um, you know, if I, if I hit up anyone Mm. on like these sort of topics they don't want to discuss it because it can be like really triggering Mm. um but i think conversation is the most important thing especially when things are this crazy we need to be having conversations and find things that we agree on and for me i always i never ever ever wish hell or death on any person even racist even if they hate my soul I, i don't I would never wish that on them. As much as I'm like, okay, I definitely don't need to be talking to you, but I would never wish that to them. Um, I actually wish and hope that they find um, Jesus because I know that that's the only way that's really going to help them out. And if they say they are, it must not really be true because, uh, like I said, God made all his creatures equal. And if they can't seem to you know, agree with that, it's like, mm, that means you're not really believing in God as much. So I, And I pray for them. I really do. I, I want them to see my side. I really do. But it, but I, I know not everybody's taking the same way as me though. Which yeah. Is sad. I, this just main thing to get across in this video. This is actually I'm actually closing right now. Main thing to take away. We, if you can take one thing, you're not choosing his side. You're not choosing my side. Or you're choosing either one of our sides. Um. The main thing to take away from this is that you can be on two different sides and still be friends still be nice to each other like we're still friends like that's not gonna change (laughs) that's not gonna change at all um and there's too many people on twitter too many people who are just like shut up shut up you're wrong you're a racist because you believe you don't believe in this whole thing like that that conversation that needs to die instantly there needs to be conversations like this um i i, I believe yes i it's, it's hard for me to agree because i'm be honest i kind of i do see the point like hey if you keep saying if you're posting one thing and they keep saying everything you're against i do agree you should have the discussion say okay why do you believe that because yeah not to say i'm not to say i'm gonna be like okay i believe you i'm gonna get signed now i just want to understand your point because if i feel like you don't have no 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 facts justifications at all that you look stupid to me then i'm like okay yeah you just look dumb i'm just gonna block you we'll leave it at that um, so I do believe discussions are and dialogues are important, but I can't say what they say is wrong because I know I'll be on that side too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that, that's, that's the biggest thing to take away from this is just have conversation and don't just shun someone because you think of them a certain way. Mm-hmm. I know like things like I've tweeted out, people probably have a view of me in a certain way and I'm just like, okay, it's whatever. I know some people, it would really hurt them, but mm-hmm. for me... I'm just like, I mean, I know who I am. The people around me know who I am. 
And it, that yeah, I guess. it doesn't matter. And that's why I get upset sometimes, and not not only just with you, with some other people too. Is where I know, I know you're a good person. <laughs> I know, and you've been a great friend to me. And it just hurts me when we don't ha- we don't see eye to eye. Like really, like. Wh- and then I started thinking, I was like, okay, boys, was he a good friend? Let me just see what the is. <laughs> and, I, and it hurts me. Like, I know this is a good person. I know he is. I just shouldn't take it that, that, that's personal. I mean, unless you say something crazy. I'll like, yeah, yeah, be yeah, honest. Yeah. If you was out here saying, oh, black lives don't matter, don't be honest, <laughs> it would have been a full fist on fight right here. But we will leave that alone. So I definitely like to listen to the other side. If they cannot give me straight up facts, then I will give them, give them facts too, right away. If they, not, if they cannot do that and all they can say is, okay, all, all, you know, all this, all that, and try to generalize generalize mm-hmm. everybody, then honestly, they, I pray for them because I know they're lost and they're not educated. And Sheep without a shepherd, dude. Honestly, I think that's one of the most powerful things. Um, but thank you guys for tuning into this. If you stayed till the end, that that's crazy. Um Thanks. This, I know, this video, two hours long. Oh, this video is not going to be monetized crazy. or anything, um, just because you know this is a serious topic, and I'm not trying to make money off of something like this. Um, that's just not who I am. Mm-hmm. So, um, thank you guys for tuning in, uh, TJ. Thank you for coming on to this. Like I said, yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm actually, I was very shocked when you invited me here. I really was. I saw my text, and I was like, because I was, I already felt, I felt like I needed to talk to all three of you guys. So I talked to you, Vera. Talked to you. I still got to talk to Nathan. I really do. Um, but when, you, when I saw the text, I was like, oh, shoot, this is crazy. <laughs> like, is he texting the right person? Honestly, I was amazed. I really was amazed. So I thank you for the invitation. Yeah. This, this is, the like I said, the main thing is just to, to uh, have a conversation um, and not only hear things from one side and to hate the other side. I don't think that's okay. It's so easy to do that over Twitter. Like, if I didn't mm. know you, mm. there's no way, like, you'd, pro- you'd probably hate me. Oh, 100%. Uh, I'll like, be, well, you know what I'm yes, saying? Yeah, yes, yeah, actually, yeah. But, yeah, but since, like, we're able, we're friends and we're able to have, like, this long conversation, we can find things that we do agree on. Yes, I do agree. So, with I, I think I think that's the amazing thing about conversation. But anyway, this is the end. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and I'll see you guys the next time. This is probably going to be my last serious video like this, unless something crazy like this happens. We'll see. Hope, hope, I, want it, I want all the... And the crazy part is they think it's us that's, you know, all angry. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it, I'm, well, I take that back. We are mad. We are very furious. I'm sorry. It's think it's, they think it's us that wants to keep using the ter- the hashtag Black Lives Matter or the phrase, whatever. But we're upset that we don't have to use it at all. Yeah, yeah. Ex- I know. I know. So yeah, that's that's gotta end it on that. So Black Lives Do Matter, by the way. Just make sure you better not cut that mess out. <laughs> I'm not cutting that. Black Lives <laughs> Matter. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, TJ. Uh, bye.